boom 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 all right guys welcome to the channel today today we're gonna be messing with the corvette it's been sitting in the garage man i think since july yeah it's been bad it hasn't been left the garage uh, it's been sitting um like i said before if you if you guys ever follow my channel it's just been raining a lot on every weekend you know same thing today today's saturday and could go to a car show but it might rain it started raining yesterday of course so but tomorrow it's not gonna rain and we're going to a all corvette car show i think a camaro's too sunday at belle isle we went there last year i have a end of this video i have the link for that video at the car show if you want to check it out up to you and then we're thinking about um, going to FCA's, having a Cars and Coffee too tomorrow morning. We're thinking about taking a vet there first, and then heading to their Corvette Car Show. I know it's a Dodge Car uh, Cars and Coffee, but all uh, vehicles are welcome. And you never know what FCA will bring out to uh, show off. And that's a pretty good, uh, good, pretty good show. We went in the beginning of the year. I took a bunch of footage, just never made any uh, videos of it yet. Still got to edit it. Um, but yeah, but we're going to mess with this thing right here. And today we're going to be trying out the all new. I had to hide it. Boom. Right there, the G9. We're going to be messing with it right here on the vet. We'll see what we can do with it. There's a, the vet's not too bad. There's a few areas that have some scratches we're going to get with. We're even going to use the drills. Uh, um, I might start out with the correction cream. And then see how it goes. I might have to go to fast correcting. We'll 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 start that way, and then we'll work around it and see. There are a couple spots I need to get up, and, um, and I'm I'm not sure. Um, I'm thinking about applying that new chemical, guys. Um, hydro ceramic wax, something like that. I don't know. I might do that. I haven't really decided yet on it dog's barking sorry about that dog always barks when i turn the camera on it's right here i might apply this i got it. it's brand new i haven't tried it out yet might put it on the vet who knows right now last time i've waxed the vet i have just car on it that was last year actually beginning of last summer but that's gone that didn't last long I maybe got four or five months out of it and that's and then that was with the vehicle that pretty much stays in the garage you know that's yeah, that's not that long. And granted, it did go out. Uh, it did. He did drive it to school a few times last year, but the, the wax should last a lot longer than that. I know a lot of people just love that wax, but that's what I got on it. Maybe it worked for you. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. But to me, for a garage queen, it didn't last. But uh, and then I, I just have basically spray wax on it. That's really it. From just spraying it up when we wash it. So, all right, instead of me jibber-jabbing and talking, I'm gonna just wash it. And then I'm not gonna have any footage of us washing it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the same steps I always do. Wash it real good. I'll check to see if we have the clay bar. I don't think we, sh we have to, but we might. I think if I had a, uh, the lower doors we do. Um, I know it has some tar on it. It's sticking to it on the bottom. And, and I might test some spots from Iron X. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat it like how I always uh, treat a vehicle before I apply it. Um, well, most of the time, uh, when I apply a new product like that. But some of the other vehicles that I tested the spray waxes on, I didn't do those steps. That was more like uh, for an everyday person that buys this product, wash the car, throw it on there, see how long it lasts. That's what I did with the McGuire's uh, spray wax. And right now I have turtle wax that shield and shine on my Fusion. I didn't make any footage of it. I just made it. I had just been getting a little frustrated with the YouTube thing. And so I've been doing detail and stuff, but I haven't been making any footage. But uh, all right, I'm going to get the washing and then we'll mess around with that new polisher. Man. Okay, we got this uh, cleaned up with the decon process, the iron X, washed it real good. And then we, uh, tire accident on the bottom wasn't bad on tire. 
Uh, got, I mean, look how nice that is clean wise. If you guys seen that video of us cleaning it with the Iron X. And granted, you can use the other uh, product. You can use Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner, in which we did. Because this being white, we did try that on the back. And it does work just as good as Iron X at a cheaper cost. Um, yeah, Papa Smurfs has a, a video on it I'll, I'll link it below and you guys can check his channel out too good guy he's a great channel uh, me and him we text each other here and there um, you guys will like his channel but uh, the kids cleaning up the engine up a little bit we're getting her with some super clean right here look how well it works you got to you know dry it off on the black parts you know so you don't get no that white residue I mean look how nice it clean the aluminum on the um the brakes the booster and so yep yeah, looks good where he's still finishing up in that and then we gotta do let it dry a little bit and then we're gonna put some uh, black dressing on there for uh, tomorrow's car show but you guys are here for the video we're gonna be trying out the G9 right here I got a five inch plate on it we're gonna be starting out with correction cream and this says to use the orange pad I don't have the gyros uh, boss orange pad i ordered their yellow right here but i do have um chemical guys hex pads a bunch of them but their pads are rated different so you're gonna have to watch if that's what you have i do like their hex pads and what it is is their yellow is a heavy cutting pad as is you know griot's garage is uh rated different there's uh their yellow pads almost like a light defects and then you know so if you have these make sure you check for uh what pads you have from a different company what their pads stand for because chemical guys pads are different because even though chemical guys white pad is for light polishing and minor defects which the boss correcting pad for white is for heavy you know um defects in your paint so i figure throw that in there just in case guys you know check out uh, make sure you are checking out your pads what they're uh from different companies what they uh be rated for i guess um i'm not gonna hammer this vehicle and it's it's dark out so it's gonna be hard for you guys to see um right here if i showed you in that one video it's the the clear coat right here it's very thin uh thin you can see where it's it the color don't match it's just real thin right here so i'll, I'll probably most likely gonna skip this process on this area with the uh, with the polish and just go straight into uh the hydro wax that we're gonna put on there i'm gonna put the chemical guys hydro wax on it, new wax on there that's my plan and um yeah so i bring that up so make sure you check it out uh, you know this car is old it's an 87 and this is the reason why you know i bring up you don't want to hammer your car all the time on getting these defects out and you don't want you know to go for the best shine and strip all your name clear because in a few years you're not going to have any and this is you know this is it breaks down this is from wherever sat out in the garage it just you know the sun beating on it you can tell and it just you know it beat the heck out of that clear coat from 1987 and that's basically just a you know real bad spot this is a little bit you know the paint's old it's not perfect it's um uh, it's still decent there's not a lot of defects in it the hood does have a lot of defect uh defects in the in the base the base is starting to get the cracks if you can see that you know, the only way to crack that is strip it and repaint it. And eventually, probably in 10 years, it probably will need to be repainted eventually. Strip it and paint it up. Check it out. Looking good. All right, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to start on probably the other side of the car so he can continue to clean the engine and get this ready for tomorrow's car show. Look at that. It's, I think it's only a little after 7 o'clock. We're already dark. Losing our light fast. We're going to start out with uh, the yellow one. I got to order some more of their pads of the boss system. So we'll try them out. Like I said, I don't have to hammer it. And then there we go. Boom. Boom. Look at that. I got to clean my garage. I clean it and it's dirty the next day. It's the kid's fault. Shut the hood. What do you think I'm doing? Let's go. Don't slam. There was you have to slam it. It don't close. Why are you slamming it? Because it fights you. It don't close. Man, can't teach these kids nothing. 
cracked the cream. I already kind of started. I wanted to see how this feels. Man, this machine's awesome. Wow. I got a little bit too much blow up. I'm just excited. This thing, man, what a difference from my Porter cable. Man, you don't even have to really press on it. It just glides really well. I mean, we had some fine scratches here. You know, not the spider webs in the base, but uh, it was in uh, the clear. Someone uh, never who had it before, they kind of scratched it up trying to get the, that out. And then this took it right off with the yellow pad, which was pretty good. This thing is just awesome. I mean, the less vibration for me from using that other one. But I'm going to spread it out. I'm going to go to one. I mean, see how easy, nice and smooth it is? Just get it spread it out. I mean, granted, this paint's not really hammered. Just certain areas. You know, I just, the base is, you know, it's got that spider crack in it. And then right now I've been running about five. And just making some packs. The brace is not that bad. I got a 5-inch back off plate for the one from uh, Hero's Garage that they Beautiful. This thing is awesome. Man, I'm in love with this machine. Dang. This thing is just I can't believe how awesome it is. Compared to my my uh entry, you know, kind of entry level posture. Look at that. That's nice. That's coming out. This is gonna look good. Man, it's so far right now, guys. On this, this is you can't go wrong for $150. You know, it's that's a nice machine. You know, pro, uh, pro, uh, pros and, you know, car enthusiasts like us. Weekend Warriors, this is awesome. I'm very happy with this purchase right here. That's pretty cool, guys. So, basically, you know, I don't I don't know tons about these kind of, you know, the, these polishers and this and that. So, I can't tell you every spec on it or how it handles or, you know what I mean. I haven't used, you know, the more expensive ones. You know the big throws and stuff like that with the you know bigger millimeters and everything like that so i can't say hey this is better or not better but for me this is just a man a perfect tool it runs so much better than my porter cable one and which that one works pretty decent to get the job done but if this one felt a lot faster on getting the cut that we need and and it's going to save me some time too when i do do uh clients vehicles this is going to save up you know save us a little bit of time Especially big uh, classic cars um, that we got last time. Yeah, this is going to help out a lot. Something like this. I mean, for the price, man, you might want to pick up another one so the kid can have one. And maybe transfer my old one into a 3-inch so we can get uh, little smaller spots. That's what I'm kind of thinking. But yeah, for the price, guys, if you're looking for a polisher, 150 bucks, you can't beat it. I think my Porter cable is like 100 bucks. You know what I mean? And this just runs a lot smoother. And it's going to last a lifetime. I'm hoping it does. And it's got a great warranty too on it. So I wish I knew more about uh, these polishers to let you guys know. I'm still learning about these. You know, old school we did everything by hand. So that's about it, guys, for the video. Um, when I'm done, I can show you the results. But I figure, well, why, you know? That's basically it's going to knock down some of those scratches. I might show. I got a big kind of a scratch. On the other side, I might show that at the end of the video. I don't know. But um, it's working out pretty good. So, yeah. We're going to continue to work. And then that's about it. You got anything to add? You want to get on this machine? And I can take a break. I take a beer break. But, um, yeah, guys. So, that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. And you forgot to uh, look this up. Uh, like I said, uh Pop Smurfs has a video on, he actually has a video actually on the G9 also. So I have his link down below. You guys check his channel out. Give him some love. He's got a great guy, great channel. 
and um, next video for the Corvette I will just gonna be applying uh, come on guys uh, let me grab it right there that's what we're gonna apply next and that's gonna be a next video it be applying it that's it how to apply it and take it off and see what it looks like and then I'll have show it what it looks like in the Sun we still got some more work to get ready for tomorrow get, got to finish this here all right guys Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Without you guys, there wouldn't be a channel. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, later.